In today's video, I am tinting my eyebrows for the first time. Hey babies, so I'm gonna be tinting my brows. Yes, I'm gonna attempt it and I'm crossing my fingers that I'm not gonna end up looking like I have caterpillars on my brows, right? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but then it should be all good. We're just gonna go step by step, follow the instructions and see where it goes. Now, the kit I'm gonna be using is the Lux Tint Set from Lux Cosmetics. You may have seen me use their Lash Lift Kit on my other video and that kit worked extremely well so i figured if that works well maybe their tint kit would work really well okay so i got it if you're interested in you know checking out this kit yourself i'll put the link below the video uh, so far i can't speak on whether this is a yay or a nay but we'll find out so first i'm going to show you what comes in this little kit that you get it's a really cute little box but let me show you what's in it so this is the Lux tint set and that's all the stuff that comes in the set so this is everything that comes in the little box we have the Lux tint tutorial a little booklet with the instructions then we have the eyelash and eyebrow tint in black in a 10 ml tube we have the oxidant gel in a 10 ml tube, three eyebrow stencils, there is a plastic glove, there is a little brush in there, a spoolie brush, and there is an eyelash pad. Okay, so we're just gonna be following the steps in the little tutorial booklet. And the first step is to clean your eyebrows. So there's nothing on them, no oil, no nothing. So I'm just gonna do that, cleaning the brows. There, and just brush them up a little there. I almost forgot, let me show you guys a before of my brows so you can see what I'm working with. So here's the before. There's not really a lot going on here, but those are my brows, they're kind of okay. I just want them to be a little more visible. Okay, so step number one, we did. We cleaned our brows they are free of anything next step step number two mix it mix a pea-sized amount of the tint and the oxidant gel approximately one centimeter of each cream from the tube in a glass or bowl until you get a creamy consistency use a one by one ratio one to one ratio we have the eyelash and eyebrow tint yes you can use this on your lashes too but today i'm just doing my brows and the oxidant gel and we're going to mix them i'm gonna take about oh, one centimeter and i'm gonna put a centimeter of the oxidant gel next to it okay so i put about that much that's not really a pea size amount though but i'm always extra so we're gonna mix the two to a creamy consistency okay so even amounts i mix the two together i hope you can see it and now we're moving on to step number three this is really quick but we're just gonna go with it. Oh, it says here when combining the lotions, uh, it might appear brown. However, the tint is black. So the final outcome will be black. Step three, apply the mixed color with the color brush in the direction of growth of the eyebrows. You can correct any mistakes with a cotton swab. Let it take effect for 15 to 20 minutes. It's a little tricky. They put these stencils in there that I am not gonna be using because those don't really fit my brows, number one. And I don't want, I wanna be in control of the shape myself. Because I'm a little chicken, I am not just gonna go in and brush on the dye i am going to outline my brows so i kind of know where i'm going to be filling them in and this is something i just totally i just made up this is not in the instructions so if you feel you know confident in your ability to just do it real quick then go for it but i'm going to be outlining my brows really lightly just so i know what I'm going to be doing. It's the top part I'm a little bit scared of. Mm. 
Now this is completely optional and this is only because I am like not sure about, you know, my ability. So anyways, on to the next step. We are going to fill in the brow. I'm gonna start with this one here. We're just gonna be taking some of the dye and I'm using a slanted brush like that. They say you should use the brush in the kit and the only brush that comes in the kit is this spoolie brush. I'm just gonna do it with this because it seems a little easier. This is so freaking scary. But what really helps is knowing that the tint does not last a long time. You can like wash it off in like two days after like, you know, Two days it'll come off. But I'm gonna pack it on a little bit heavy here because I want it a bit darker here. The things I do, guys, I mean, doing this alone is difficult. Doing it on camera adds to everything. So I hope you guys are liking this video and, you know, bearing with me because, uh, yeah, this is something else. <laughs> I'm just gonna pack it on. It is a little difficult here. Where's a Q-tip? It's funny because it's easy to do it on the actual hairs, but doing it on the skin is a bit challenging. Now it said if you're not happy with the darkness or if some sides are lighter, you can always like reapply it. So I am not liking the situation here. It's still a little heavy on the inside here, but I'm hoping that I didn't dye it too much and that when I wipe it away, it'll be clean. That's it, guys. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna set a timer for 50 minutes and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do one eye first so I can compare the difference. So I'm gonna go for 20 minutes. I will be back. Stay tuned. It's about 17 minutes now and I am going to remove dye of my eyebrow. I'm very scared. So it said on the next step, gently remove the color using a wet cotton pad. Wipe from the inside to the outside to avoid any color entering your eyes and use light pressure. I'm scared. Here we go. So the inside to the outside using a light pressure. It's almost green like. Okay. Now, tint never lasts a long time. So if this all goes wrong, I'm not too worried about it. Now I'm going to just brush it a little bit and wipe it some more and see if we see a difference. Well, honestly, it's not as good, of course, as the when I get it done professionally, because she just really does an awesome job. It's all right, I guess. It's a little light down here. Maybe I should apply some more here. It's a very light tint. I like that it's not too dark on the inside here. I wish this part was a bit darker. You do see a big difference. I'm just gonna apply a little here and then I'm gonna proceed with the other eye, but I just wanna get this bottom portion here. I do not think this is the correct brush for this at all. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit while I do the other eye. And so far, it's uh, looking good. Now, I have this much left of the dye, so I, it's probably because I'm new at this, you know, I'm just gonna mix a little bit more. Let me do the other brow now. As you can see, I'm a little less afraid because I know the impact that the dye has now, that it's not overwhelming caterpillar-like, which is good. And I think this kit's like 22 bucks, which is great because if you go to a salon, you have to pay that plus tip or you play, I don't know, depending on the salon you go to. Tints are usually not that expensive, but then with the tip added in, you know, I mean, these tubes can have multiple uses to them. So I'd say you only use a little bit. You could probably use this like 10 times. If it's good, it's really worth it. Compared to the lash lift, I have to say this is a lot easier. Have your wet wipes handy, guys. Always useful. Yeah, you might have a little trial and error trying to find the right applicator for this. Because I thought this slanted brush was gonna be fabulous, but it's not that great. So I finished off this eye. It's processing, it's gonna take about 15 minutes. 
this eye i'm still processing the bottom portion there to make it a little bit darker and then i will be back to show you guys the final result and also to let you know whether this tint set is a yay or a nay and remember this video is not sponsored i keep it real so you don't want to miss this so the processing time is over and we are going to be removing the dye so here we go uh let me first remove this side here because i had a little bit done there at the bottom just a very little it clearly leaves a stain on your skin which i absolutely love okay let me clean off this side clean 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 it clearly stains your skin which kind of was my whole goal here because that when you have laminated brows gives a really nice effect now on this side my brows are not really that prominent i think this side came out better than this side maybe because this side is still fresh and hasn't set completely yet and it's still a very light here I'm not sure if you guys can see and it's light here too, so I'm gonna try to fix that a little bit. Let me fix that a little bit and I'll be right back. So now I'm just gonna remove the final little residue of dye. And then I'm gonna finish off my brows. I'm thinking maybe I should just do my normal routine. Okay, so I cleaned off my brow. This is the final result. Tell you guys what i think that was my brow tinting trial for the first time situation what i think of this lux tint set now i don't have anything to compare it with because like i said this is the first time that i'm ever doing this having said that i do have the results to go by i like the fact that it's very subtle so in case you know you make like a big mistake in anything it's not going to show really because the results are very minimal i do think it is absolutely absolutely worth it and what i like about this whole process the most is that it's super easy like you could just quickly quickly apply this and let's let it sit and then remove it and that's it it's much easier than a lash lift absolutely if you haven't seen that video go check it out i'll link it up here somewhere but absolutely absolutely so worth it i don't know how long this is gonna last but i know from having it done professionally that you should try not to wet it immediately or at all i always avoid water steam any situation sweating and all that stuff that's gonna you know wet my brows and get rid of the tint because the tint really doesn't last that long that's why it's ideal for like special occasions and stuff um when i get it done professionally it lasts about three days where it's really really good and then it starts slowly fading and after a week it's gone pretty much and so i'm gonna see if this this lasts longer i will comment below the video to let you guys know how this is gonna go but as you can see it gives a subtle shadow on your eyebrows which is really really nice and there are some little flaws here and there i'm not picky about that at all i'm just gonna fix it with a pencil and the fact that that's possible too always makes it really really handy uh but yeah i think i am absolutely happy with this you know i feel like there's something there now i'm just gonna fix my brows really quickly with some pomade and set them like how i would normally do and then i will show you guys the final result if this video was helpful to you of course give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I love having you guys. But uh, let me fix the brows completely now. And uh, I'll be back in a second. So I fixed my brows how I would normally fix them. I just penciled the outline more than anything because it was already filled with color from the tint. So that was not necessary. And then I used my e.l.f. Brow Lifting Pomade, which is the clear pomade. It's so good and that holds all the hairs in place that's what i always do when i get my brows laminated i just hold them in place with this it's amazing stuff and 
Yeah, so this is the final result. Now, I honestly did not pencil in my brows whatsoever. It was more so the outlining portion that I kind of corrected. I am super happy with the results. So let me know if this video was useful to you. Sound off in the comments below. Have you done this before? Do you have any tips for me? Anything I'm missing here or I'm doing wrong? I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff, but anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys again next week in another video. Thank you.